welcome back guys today we have another very interesting video today we are going to take a look at how we can create a stylized abstract shader inside of Maya and uh, we are going to be using uh, AI noise for this and a little bit of RAM to create those bendy kind of abstract look so let's see how we can do this uh, so I have a basic um, head model and a simple BG and a HDRI for the lighting purpose if I show you my scene this is what my scene looks like if I show you the debug mode so this is what I have yeah so let me just turn this off and let's build our shader so I'm going to jump into my camera you can pretty much do this with any object you want so I'm going to create a new material for this let's create an AI standard surface and I'm going to call this stylize abstract and let's make the diffuse to one and simply go to hypershade now here is where the all the magic is going to happen so let's see uh, i have a simple surface shader and the output so i'm going to come over here and if i go to arnold and if i search for amp you're not going to get anything because the ramp is inside of maya's tab so let's take a ramp over here. but before taking the ramp we are going to take a noise shader and in Maya you have a lot of noise shader like you can play around with different kinds of noise type if you want if you go to Maya section you can you have this type of noise which is just a simple noise you have a simplex noise you have a volume noise so it totally depends of, on what you want to experiment with uh, what's your choice of so after learning this technique uh, I highly suggest working with all these noises and different kinds of technique to get a different kind of result moving on uh, let's take AI noise and we have a simple AI noise let's make the octave to one octave basically means the quality of your noise and uh, let's make like an RT to probably around uh, let's see one uh, 1.1 I think okay and let's make the amplitude to probably around five okay and I'm gonna make the distortion to around one or something I think yeah probably two and let's increase this to 10 yeah perfect so the next thing i'm going to do is attach this to the base color and now we have if i switch it to shade the wall you can see we have a nice shading going on so let's take a ramp now ramp and go to maya and select ramp so come over here and you have a simple ramp where you get a simple gradient of two colors so i'm going to select this one and i have a bunch of colors over here you can pretty much change any color you want uh, i'm just going to take somewhere like this and maybe something like this okay i think this is looking good so i think this is uh, looking quite good enough a nice gradient and i'm going to attach the color to color one and also to color two right and instantly you will see something like this so the way we can basically transpose those thin lines is we have to play around with the ramp shading and if I move this uh, slider A towards the slider B as you can see the gradient is become, becoming sharper and sharper and if I move this far away as you can see it's kind of like fading away so first thing you have to understand is obviously the type type is set to V U ramp you can pretty much change this but uh, the majority of this uh, section we, it's not going to matter anyways the next thing is interpolation uh, as you can see the interpolation has been set to linear that's why it gives you this smooth kind of look but i'm going to change it to probably around bump uh, we can play around with this how you want it or you can set it to none so now we have a pretty rigid kind of look as you can see if you want it to be kind of blurred out you can switch it to linear i'm going to keep it to none and as you can see as i move my gradient around you can see the overall color filling the overall shader wall so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another ramp uh, section selected position and the way you add a marker is you simply click on this color and you can add this and if you want to delete a marker you simply hit the cross icon and there you go so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to move it right about here and i'm going to change this color to again something like this right so now we have something like this so i'm going to position something like this and uh, now here's the cool part now if you change the noise as you can see we have another noise section over here if i change the noise to somewhere around like this as you can see we have nice little bendy patterns going on and i can also play around with u and v wave it totally depends on how uh, you can say 
effective noise you want and this kind of like gives you interesting result and try like uh, not getting that much of like noise around you still want the whole shader to look like a selective color but you do want st you still want those thin lines going around it so let's see so i'm going to keep it like this and let's see how this shader is looking on our model uh, i'm going to switch on to my ipr and let's play this okay so it's looking pretty interesting uh, one more thing i'm going to just simply create a new shader for my bg to kind of like differentiate between our model and our and uh, our subject and our background so i'm going to choose something like this okay perfect i'm going to select my model and i'm going to go to my uh, material section and i'm going to go to my color and inside of my color i can go to my ramp and i can pretty much play around with different kinds of setting here i want and you can also play around with the u and v wave as well and as you can see you get pretty interesting results and you can obviously play around with your octaves as well uh, noise is not going to play uh, that much big of a role it's just a way of basically merging the ramp into the base shader so uh, there's a lot of like variation to this and i'll show you some of the variations i've done in the end of this video so definitely check them out but this is more of a like an experimental kind of thing you can add pretty much more color to it you can simply take another marker and you can uh, it's the same color let's see yeah so as you can see the more color you add you are going to see more variations and if i move this around like like to the end of this you are going to lose that blue color so that's why we are keeping it around there and if you want like less blue in it you can pretty much move this slider to the right and as you can see we have less blues in this and let me just switch it to 100 percent all right so if i hold down shift i can uh, make a render region so it just render this part and i can go back to this uh, let's go to ramp and i can pretty much add more color to it and let's see i'll add a little bit of green in this as well and let's see how this looks let's add a little bit of like more volume to it so as you can see you are getting kind of like this result which is kind of pretty interesting look you can pretty much try this on any model like you want you and all this shader is completely procedural you can always go back and forth and change anything that you don't like like if i don't like this blue color at the end of the uh, thin line i can change this if i don't like this white color i can change this to something like this and you can always go back and forth i think this is the best part of the shader and it kind of gives your shader or you can say the model overall a pretty unique and interesting look and the plus part is the obviously the procedural thing so definitely play around with this and uh, let me just turn this off and hide this inside of a layer and i'm going to take a sphere let's make this big and uh, if i add this to this sphere as you can see you have another cool marble kind of abstract memphis looking abstract so definitely play around with this there's like endless possibility to what you can pretty much do with this uh, make the noises bigger or you can say smaller and you have this interesting pattern going on and play around with the noise frequency and uh, yeah so i hope you like the video enjoy creating your abstract art and if you do like uh, this video and you create something out of this definitely send me on instagram i love to see your work and how you're doing with my videos uh, again thank you for watching have a good day